three. Happy Good Friday. Uh, there's a reason for this season. Easter's rolling around, and Easter's big to me for a couple reasons. One, it's kind of when my mom passed away, so it's a time of great reflection. But even prior to that, it was a time for me to really reflect on things. Uh, Jesus was a very great man. It's hard to deny that. He was so great, in fact, that he inspired people to die rather than to deny his greatness. I mean, that happened. That's, that's another thing that's very hard to deny. Now, the debate with Jesus comes is whether he was the Son of God. I mean, was, he, was he our Savior? Uh, I tend to believe he was a great man and a Son of God. But there's really no denying the power of his message. So it's probably really a good thing to reflect on him and to think about him. One of the great, probably the greatest woman I ever knew was my grandmother, and she was a Jesus freak. I mean, she was all about Jesus in a good way. I mean, she wasn't a crazy Jesus freak. She was, she really, really wholeheartedly believed in his message. I mean, People did believe in his message so much so that they would die rather than to deny that he was a great man and he really held close to the truth. They wholeheartedly believed that to the point where, like I said, they'd rather get ate, ate by lions than say, no, Jesus ain't good, I don't like him. So that right there should tell you something. That should tell you the power of his message. My grandma, when faced with bad things, if I was sad or she thought that I was upset, she'd always tell me to think about Jesus, and not in a pushy way, but just to think about the Jesus story. I mean, start with the fact that you spend most of your life going around teaching the good word to be good to others, to help others. You help others, okay? You take care of all these people and bring them this great message. And then they put a crown of thorns on your head. Imagine that. That hurts. That's bad stuff, man. That hurts. Then while you have that crown of thorns on your head, you got to walk down the street while the people that you're here to save are throwing rocks at you and cussing at you and calling your names. By the way, you got that big cross on your back that you're carrying down the road while they're chucking this stuff at you, hurling all these insults at you. I mean, you died for, you're died. you dying for these people's sins. You're doing this for these people, okay? You're a martyr. But yet, they're denying you, and they're hurting you, and they're taking advantage of your greatness as you go to the mount. Then you get the nails in your hands and your feet, and then you hang there. Most people will tell you crucifixion was an excruciating death. I mean, the things that it does to you is something that you can't fathom. Nobody can fathom. But yet, he did that for you. There's no question about it. There's very little question about it. Now, what man did with that story that's a different that's a different topic altogether but the man jesus he was a great great man he deserves he deserves us to hold him in very high regard and he deserves he deserves us to at least try to make the sacrifices for humanity that he did that's what Easter is about to me. Easter isn't about egg hunts and chocolate candy baskets and a new bike. Easter is about Jesus' sacrifice for us and what we can do and what we can learn from that. Thank you for your time. You have a very happy Easter.